What's up everybody, it's Lovely Taneji In this video I will be showing you how I created this dramatic makeup look with a pop of color. If you want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so to start off this makeup tutorial I'm going to be using my handy dandy Aveeno Radiant Face Lotion. Putting it all over my face. Using some Blistics, we want some soft luscious lips. Then to prime our eyelids for our eyeshadow, I'm using the Hard Candy Concealer onto my eyelids. I'm using the smallest amount because a little bit goes a long way. Then I'm using a Kiko's brush to buff out our concealer. To set our concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm using the same brush just to tap um, that powder so we don't create any creases. I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. To start off our look, I'm going to use this color right here called Burnt Orange as our transition color. I'm also using a Kiko's uh, Buffing brush as well. I'm also using this color right here called Raw Sienna right on top of Burnt Orange with the same um, brush as well. I'm using my favorite MAC brush number 224 and I'm going in with this color called Red Ochre right on top of our transition colors. With my MAC 221 brush I'm going in with Venetian Red and love leather together and I'm going to start with small amounts and start building it up right under my crease I'm using Too Faced glitter glue and I'm using literally the smallest amount and I'm using it all over my lids and this just helps make our glitter stick better I'm using Urban Decay sideline I'm using a elf brush and I'm taking a good amount of this pigment and just tapping it all over my lids then I'm using this MAC shadow called I like to watch and look how beautiful and bright and vibrant I just love this eyeshadow so much so with the same brush, we're going to take some pigment and right on top of our Urban Decay eyeshadow, we're just going to tap that as well. Then I'm going in with my Clinique Makeup Brush Cleanser. I'm cleaning my uh, MAC 221 brush. Then we're going to go in with Cypress Umber and we're going to start creating some depth from our outer V to our crease. Then I'm using uh, this color right here called Real Gar with the same brush. I'm just using this color just to make this Cypress Umber a little bit lighter. I'm going to use my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Lash Stiletto, using a few coats. With some serious concentration, I'm putting some glue to my lashes. Do a little dance, let it dry. So off camera, I put my lashes. I'm just using my Maybelline Lash Stiletto just to conceal our real lashes with our fake. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Waterproof Foundation in the color NC35. Then I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, stippling brush. I like this brush for my foundation because it gives me a airbrush finish. To set my foundation, I'm using the Studio Fix in NC30 with the same brush. And I'm just going to go in circular motions just to spread that powder everywhere. With the same um, concealer that we use to prime our eyes, I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes. And also I'm going to be using the Prolong Wear Concealer in NC35. I only had one job here. I just needed to put a little bit of concealer in this damn brush. And I was just having such a hard time and I just got so excited when I finally got some on my brush. Anyway, so I'm going to start creating a upside down triangle right under my eyes to highlight the highest points of my face. I'm also putting some on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. With my Real Techniques buffing brush, I'm just going to start buffing out my concealer. 
then we're gonna start baking I'm using the Laura Mercier with the same brush and everywhere where I conceal that's where I'm gonna start baking then with uh, my MAC eyebrow pencil in the color brunette I'm gonna make a line on the bottom and a line on the top and I'm just going to um, connect those lines together to create the shape that I want and with small strokes I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows with my studio fix and my buffing brush we're just gonna start taking off this cooking powder then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia contouring kit I'm using my real techniques contouring brush I'm using the middle color and I'm just going to start chiseling my cheeks my temples my forehead and my nose I'm using the elf contouring bronzing and blush and I'm using just an equal toothbrush to apply my blush <laughs> back to our palette I'm using uh, this color right here tempera and I'm using a detailer brush from the real techniques and we're just gonna start highlighting our brow bones with my smudging brush I'm using Venetian red and I'm just going to put this color right underneath my waterline just to balance out this dramatic look and also right on top of Venetian red I'm using love letter just to give it a little bit more of a cool undertone red color then I'm going in with this color right here called Primavera I'm using um, a precision pointer brush and I'm just gonna start highlighting my tear ducts with that I'm using my wet and wild mega length mascara and just putting some mascara onto my lower lashes after that I'm gonna spray some studio fix to a brush and then I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Starlight and I'm gonna start highlighting my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and I'm using my finger just to highlight my nose as well. For lips, I'm using Kat Von D Double Dare. Then on top of that lip, I'm using the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. To assure that our face is gonna stay on all night, I'm using Fix Plus and I'm using a healthy amount of it all over my face. And this is the finished product. This is just a video that I took on my Snapchat. And this is an overall look to this dramatic makeup look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!